एवरीवन या गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो शेल वी बिगिन द सेशन ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर फिनिश विद अपेंडिक्सिस ए व्हाट इज अपेंडिक्स ए इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर फिनिश सम डेटा ऑपरेशन और व्हाट आर द वेरियस डेटा कलेक्शन टेक्निक्स दैट इज स्टडीड इन द टुडेस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट अपेंडिक्सिस दैट इज अपेंडिक्स बी डिटरमाइनिंग द सैंपल साइज हाउ टू डिटरमाइन द सैंपल साइज व्हाट इज द सैंपल साइज हाउ इट इज जनरेटेड विद द सैंपल साइज So let's start with the appendix B. That is determining the sample size. How to generate the sample size? So how to determine the sample size? Or what are the various steps to determine the sample size? That is also one of the main deal that is used in the appendices. That is available in the appendix. So determining the sample size that includes what are the various sample sizes that is included in this one? What is adequacy of data collection instrument? That is important as adequacy. With the design phase, when collecting the large amount of data from undefined sources, is not recommended over here. and there is a biasness in the data it is unlikely to go away with more 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 data collection and in conducting a survey it is important to obtain a representative sample than a large number a large sample and identify the groups to be sampled put them the more efforts in obtaining a high high response rate whatever the high response rate by the phoning or the, or the sending reminder rather than sending out the data with a large number of questionnaires and having a few undefined volunteer return that them so whatever the volunteer whatever the returning time that will be captured with the data mining that sample size. and in the time and the resources permits a more rigorous sampling scheme should be used then identify a resource person who can assist the planning team that is how to plan out what are the various terms that is used in the planning out that is used in the behavior of the planning that is used uh, to confirm whether whether we, whether it is whether it is used with the uh, it is used with the confirmation whether it is used with the with the logic error so whatever the logic error that is used whatever the whatever the, whatever the term that is used over here so that will be used that will be available as a questionnaire that will be available as expertise that will be used as expertise person that that will be enabled with this one and if the with the time and the resources permits a more rigorous sampling scheme should be used to identify a resource person who could assist that means a volunteer who could assist what is going on what are what are the various steps that is used for this one and how, who can establish the strat such as sampling error level of the confidence of the risk number of the variable to be examined and the degree of the variability in the attributes so whatever the variability whatever the attributes whatever the risk whatever the logical error that is the degree of this one so that should be used that is in measure and with the pilot data in the in hand a resource person can work out with a sample size or total sample size that is needed for the accuracy that is needed for the kind of the delivery that is desired and if the time or the expertise is constrained so whatever the time whatever the expertise that is constrained so they use the most common sense guidelines most common sense guidelines in the sense whatever the guidelines that is gathered for this one that is gathered for the sampling size so this is how to gather or what is the meaning of get determining the sample size how to determine the sample size what is the benefit of determining the sample size and what is required for determining the sample size So whatever the sample size, whatever the criteria that is used with the rigorous training, that is identify a resource person who can assist the planning team with determining strats, with the sampling error, with the level of the confidence of the risk, number of variables to be examined, and the degree of the variability in the attribute that is being measured. Whatever the attribute, whatever the term. definition that is used over here and with the pilot data in the hand a resource person can work out the total sample size what are the total sample size that is needed out for the kind of the accuracy for the kind of the data that is desired whatever the desiredness whatever the accuracy uh, accurate data that is used with the sample size so with the pilot data in the hand a resource person can work out the total sample size that is needed for the kind of the accuracy that is desired and if the time of the constraint is a constraint or if the time of the expertise is a constraint or constraint in the sense or uh, constraint in the sense if the time and the persons are limited to the concerned department so use the following guidelines what are the guidelines that is followed up first one is the size of the sample needed depends upon two things first is how accurate the summary data needs to be 
So how accurate the data summary needs to be, how accurate it is going to uh, for, for represent the data summary. That is, for example, for no sampling error at all, the entire entire population will need to be measured. Whatever the entire population, whatever the data, whatever the uh, requirement of the data gathering that is required for the entire population that is measured. The next one is how variable the data are. How variable the data are means what are the various guidelines that is used for the data gathering requirements. So how variable the data are and if the evaluator started measuring a, a variable. So if, if, if there is any, any evaluation work that start measuring the variable and found that everything is okay, everyone is okay or every, everything that is a little uh, needing concern that is depending the requirement measurement to increase accuracy. So more the type of the data vary, the more data should be collected to get a reasonably accurate measure of the Whatever the measurement, whatever the requirement that must be collected with the team, that must be carried out with the team, that must be carried with the data gathering. The next is another consideration is acceptability to participants and audience. Whatever the acceptability, whatever the consideration that is available, that is used with the accessibility, that is used with the participant, that is used with the concerned department. For example, in collecting the views of the staff, whenever we collect the views of the staff, it might not be acceptable to take a sample, even though a sample would appear to be statically adequate. Whatever statically adequate data, so that must be gathered, that must be required for this. And every staff member might need to be heard so that no one feels left out and there is no suspicion of the bias. So whatever the suspicion data, whatever the suspicious data that is gathered, so there is no one to feel out left out. The next one, sampling may be unacceptable. Sampling may be acceptable. If it causes more disturbance, then it would be measuring anyone or everybody. Whatever the data gathering, uh, gathering requirement, whatever the disturbance is that is gathered for this. For example, it may disturb a lesson more to withdraw the six students than to test the entire class. So whatever the entire class student, whatever the distribution of the lesson, they must be desired they must withdraw four lessons or withdraw six students then to test the entire class so take out a random picture take out a few few sample that is known as a samples so that is acceptable with the distribution of the for the example this is a distribution of the more than six people that is withdrawal with the amount that is withdrawal with the data now this is determining the sample size that is a rule of the thumb one is a population then sample population is 50 or less sample is also 50 or less then 500 or less and the sample is approx 200. 1000 or less, this is approx 275. 10,000 plus approx 350. US population, 2000 to 4000. This depends on the sample size. This depends on the rule of the thumb. Population, sample. Population is 50 or less, 50 or less. 500 or less, approx 200. 1000 or less, approx 275. 10,000 plus approx 350 US population 2,000 to 4,000. Now, how to minimizing, what are the various possible errors that is minimizing in the random sampling? So, what are the various possible errors that is available in the random sampling? So, first type of error is a sampling error. Uh, this is the, what is the code? So, using a sample, not the entire population. So, use a sample, not the entire population with the data. And the, what is the, yeah, what, use a sample, not the entire population within the data that is to be studied. And errors that occur from sampling individual that do not estimate the total population. So whatever the population that is not estimated out, that is not sampling out with the individual, with the recorded data, with the sample technique that do not estimate the population. Now, what are the remedies? What are the remedies in the sense? What are the various criteria? What are the various solutions that is the remedies? So large peoples or the last samples cannot be verified or last samples uh, reduced but do not eliminate the sampling error. 
whatever the data, whatever the data gathering technique, they do not eliminate the sampling error, that is the last samples reduces, but do not have eliminate. Then sample bias, so some of those selected to participate did not do so or provided incomplete information. Whatever the information, whatever the criteria that is acquired, that is acquired to do to do something that is desired or to do so provided with a complete information. Then what are the various remedies for the sample bias? So this is a remitted, uh, repeated attempts to reach the unknown respondents. Then comparison of the characteristics of known respondent to determine if any systematic difference exists. If any systematic difference exists, that must be used with the sample bias, that must be used with the related bias net, that is the sampling error. So one is a sampling error, then sample bias, then response bias. So whatever the response is that do not reflect true options or the behavior, whatever the options, whatever the behavior that is acquired, so that is used with the two options of the behavior because questions for admission understood of the respondent choose not to tell that rule. Well, yeah, which is very, very, very true. Sometimes the the uh, questions are not understood or if the questions are understood, someone may be represented with the data, someone may misunderstand or respondent could not or chose not to tell that rule. And a careful pre-testing of the instrument to revise the misunderstood or misunderstand leading or setting the questions. No remedy exists for the deliberate in self administered interview, but it can be spotted by the careful editing. So it can be used with a careful editing, it can be used with a careful analysis. Whatever the analysis, whatever the careful technique that must be gathered with the data analysis. So no remedy exists for deliberate uh, equivocation in the self questioning or in the self administered interviews but it can be spotted by the careful editing. And this biasness can be reduced by the skilled interviewer. So if there is a skilled interviewer, this biasness can be removed, this biasness can be eliminated we can say. So we have studied about the how to minimize the possible error in the random sampling. We have studied about the type of the error, one is sampling error, then there is a cause, what is the cause of sampling error that is using a sample, not the entire population that is need to be studied and error that occur from sampling individual that do not estimate the problem, that do not estimate the population. And the last samples also reduces but do not eliminate the sampling error. So whatever the sampling error, whatever the task, whatever the scenario that is available over here, so this is a sampling error and then now what is the course, what is the course that is using a sample, not the entire population, not the reduced task, not everything that is to be studied. And errors that occur from the sampling individual that do not estimate the population, that never estimate the populations. So what are the scenarios, what are the data that is available that is used with the data modification. Now, what are the various remedies that is used? So larger samples, so the large samples may not be used, may not be available with this, may not be used, may not, may not be, may not be, may not be just with the data analysis, may not just, just with the data, data content. So the large samples reduce but do not eliminate the sampling errors and the sample biases, some of the, some of those selected to participate did not so to provide incomplete information. Whatever the information, whatever the criteria that is available that cannot provide the completed information with the biasness. And the repeated information are attempts to reach non-respondents. Comparisons of the no characteristics of the non-respondent to determine if any systematic difference exists or if any difference exists so that it will be available for the complete biasness, sample biasness, response biasness that would not include or not reflect the true questions, opinions, or behavior because questions are made understood or respondents choose not to tell that. Sometimes yeah, uh, it happens that if I'm not going to tell the truth anyone, I can mole, mole, mole the data. That means, no, this is not like this this is like this means molding the content from one part to another one another part to another another part to another so molding the content from one to another next to next next to next next to next that is the response line this does not reflect the true opinion but can be a pre-testing of the instrument to revise the misunderstood leading or threatening the question then no remedy exists to deliberate or for deliberate the equation uh, 
equivocation in self administered interviews but it can be stopped by the careful editing so if there is a careful editing that can be stopped with the elimination of the data that can be stopped with the personal interviews in case of personal interviews the biasness can be reduced by the skilled interviewer so we have discussed about this one we have discussed about the appendix b that is determining the sample size what is the sample size how it is determining and how it is uh, used as a, or how it is used as an important part as an adequacy of the complete information as the adequacy of the data collection designs that means what is the current area what is the main way by which we can combine with the data by which we can include with the information that is inclusion of the information in the sense whatever the data that is required for inclusion so for, for the data gathering requirements so that is available with this so identify what are the various factors that is or what are the various factors that is available with this one what are the various ways by which we can include the information by which we can access the information that is how to access how to get the information how to get the sampled information that is putting the more efforts into obtaining a high high response time rather than sending out the large number of data large number of questionnaires and defining the valid case to choose them and if the time and the question permit so the resources permit a more rigorous training more rigorous planning scheme should also be used so if, if the time and the resources or the money is available so identify a resource person who can assist the data who can assist the planning team with determining statistics such as the sampling error level of the confidence of the risk number of the variable to be examined and the degree of the availability in the attributes being measured what are the degree of the attribute that is being measured and with the pilot data in the hand pilot data in the hand whatever the data that is available in the pilot a resource person can ask out the sample or total sample size that is needed for the kind of accuracy what is the kind of accuracy that is taken out what is the needed data that is taken out for the for the, for the accuracy design and that can be used with the number of the variables that can be used with the degree of the variability in the attribute that is being measured and if the time or expertise is a constraint whatever the time constraint whatever the expertise constraint so use the following common common sense guideline, guidelines what are the various guidelines that is used with this one the size of the sample need is needed depends upon two things so there are two uh, the sample size that is needed so that depends on the two things what are the two things first is how accurate the summary of the information or how accurate the data summary that is required that is gathered for the information requirements that is used with the sampling error at all and uh, entire population would need to be measured with this one so there are two parts one is analyzing one is determining so analyzing in the sense we can analyze the data we can access the data we can get the data So if the evaluator started measuring a variable found that every measure was the same there was a little need to continue the repeating data or to continue the measurement to increase accuracy and on the other hand the more data the vary or more data is required so the more data we must be collected to get a reasonably accurate measure of the mean so whatever the measurement of the mean whatever the requirement of the mean that must be gathered with the data analysis that must be used with the data analysis of the part And the another consideration that is the acceptability to participants and the audiences, whatever the audiences, whatever the collection of the views of the data, it might not be acceptable to take a sample, even even though a sample would appear to be statistically educated, statistically educated in the sense, whatever the data technique that must be used for the statistically educated. And sampling may also be accept unacceptable if if it causes more than one disturbance that could uh, choose out any one. And then uh, we have studied about the, what are the various minimizing possible errors. So why, how we are minimizing the errors, or how we can minimize the possible error that is used in the random sampling. So what is the sampling error? Then sample biasness, response biasness. So this we have discussed with the sampling error. This we have discussed with the sample biasness, sampling error, whatever the technique that is gathered or that is used for the possible errors in the random sampling, right? Then next one is the appendices C that we are going to study in the next class that is in the Monday's class. So we are finished with the appendices A. What are the various data collection methods? What are the various ways by which we can collect the data? Then uh, we have discussed about the appendices B that is the sample size. How to get the sample size? What are the various benefits of the sample size? Or what is the main we can say the motto of the sample size that is required for this? So till now, any doubts anyone regarding this one? And any doubts anyone regarding the assignment? Anything that you want to add? Anything that you want to do? Anything that you want to require? So please ask the doubts, ask the questions, so that your query will be clarified and my opinion will be clarified from your point of view. All right.
So any doubts, anyone? I'm repeating again.